Hey what's going on YouTube, welcome to the channel, it's Minty Boy here and today I'm going to show you guys how to use jibmatch.com uh, This is another website that you can upload your DNA data to um, just to get another uh, analysis of it So come to jibmatch.com um, If you haven't, you probably haven't signed up already if you're watching this video so if you haven't go to not registered click here um, and then it will just ask for your details and stuff like that so you just put your first and last name in um, a optional Elias it's like a nickname I don't really know why you need that but uh, the next thing is email address, email address and password, so it's very simple and straightforward to join up. Um, yeah, and then they should email you, or no, they probably won't actually email you, they'll just, you just have to confirm your email address. But yeah, so then when you've done that, you can come here. Um, put your email address in. And password okay so um, so what you want to do is if you haven't already um, You want to go and download your DNA data. Uh, if it's from myheritage.com, I've got a video on here that shows you how to do that. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. And then once you've done that, you probably uh, you want to come and um, you want to upload your data to. not actually sure where uh, it should be somewhere here um, it's probably not on there for me at the moment but uh, because I've already s done that so so yeah but you want to upload your data and then it should take a couple of days for that to come through okay so um Once you've done that, I'll give you a kit number. And then that is what you're going to use to come in and do all this kind of stuff on here. Um, admixture heritage is to find out your heritage. So we'll click on that one first. Um, select the project. Now, um, if you're European, you can probably play around with these a bit. But if you're mostly European, then Eurogenes, uh, I believe, is the best one to select. So we'll put that one in and then click to continue then you want to enter your kit number that you should have got from uh, my uh, not my heritage not from my heritage from this website here um, and then this will show you your ethnicities just takes a bit of time to load usually um, this is like North Atlantic 49.56 Baltic 26.61 West Med which is West Mediterranean I think 12.78 West Asian East, East Mediterranean heaps of stuff there, Red Sea some of these things are a bit weird like Red Sea but you can just search that on Google if you have any um, if you're confused about any of them um, oh gosh uh, there's also X1 to 1, we'll have a look at what that is 
Uh, okay, that's like a comparison, I think, between two different people, maybe to see um, how similar your DNA is, or something like that. I'm not going to do that. Um, you can see if your parents are related, so if they've both done DNA tests, you'll get their kit number, uh, you'll get their data, and then compare one another. Um, also, you can do predict eye colour. Put your kit number in, predict eye colour. And this one says blue, I guess, <laughs> which is true. It's exactly right. Don't know what all this stuff up here is. Weak amber gradient. It's a bit confusing. Um, but yeah, that's right. I do have. Um, actually, I should I should actually look into that. Like, as it says, grey ring around outer edge. Increased density of anterior stroma blocks melanin, blocks blue, gives gives lighter colours. Also, one thing I forgot to mention was that when you upload, um, when you put in your data, um, not data, when you do the heritage test, you probably want to search which one is the best for your ethnicity. Um, 3D chromosome browser. Not really sure what that is. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's, it's kind of confusing, I guess. Um, I was actually thinking there was more stuff you could do on here. Uh, Oh, that's probably where you actually upload your DNA data. Generic upload fast. Okay, so, um... Yeah, when you go to my heritage you can easily download the kit um sorry the the dna data and then this just shows you how to do it here and then when you come to gedmatch i suppose you go to this um Actually, I think I did a video actually how to upload to GEDmatch, so I might just post that in the description, but but yeah, that's pretty much it. Just thought I'd do a little video, and uh, thanks for watching.